Hey guys, my name is Ribbon Phoenix. Welcome to video series, which is based on the structure of man course, where you have this uh, ability to draw the human figure from your mind. So in this video series, we're going to go through a step-by-step -step process and really understanding how we can use the knowledge of this ability to draw the human figure and to create a real world scenario here. So um, what I like to do is before we get into the uh, the actual process of uh, I want to show you something quite extraordinary and very powerful in understanding what artistic thinking allows us to do and this is an exercise that we need to go through before we can get into the actual creation process. So here uh, I have uh, two drawings here of uh, uh, from Michelangelo here and when we look at these drawings right here we can clearly state that Michelangelo had very powerful artistic powers right? he understood the human figure to such a high degree that he was able to create the human figure so realistically in, in any pose that he wanted right he he had a very high state of thinking about who he was as an artist he was he had developed created his confidence of the human figure through artistic thinking so here what we're going to do is we're going to do some exercises of under of developing a way to artistic think so we can draw from bliss what it, whatever it is that we want whenever it is that we want and however it is that we want to draw right so here uh, when, when we look at this drawing here we can see what Michelangelo is doing through these drawings right through these drawings he's stating uh, about the challenges of being an artist uh, as to why is it well, why do you want to be an artist is probably the the best question here right so the question to answer that question would be well we the reason we are we want to be artists is because we want to really get to this very high level of of thinking about or building that confidence to be able to draw completely from bliss our creations our ideas so this is the challenge that Michelangelo leaves here as to uh, stating that he reached a very high this very high state of thinking so how are we going to get to it and this is through the idea of artistic thinking so let's actually start this uh, exercise here so what we want to do is uh, we need to uh, come up with a way where we need to create confidence as to who, who we are as artists and understanding why do we draw the way we draw then this will allow us to draw from bliss so just keep in mind here that the stuff I'm going to show you here is artistic thinking meaning we're going to be thinking out loud and these ideas can change can be adjusted to help us better understand our ideas in these very high states of thinking about drawing from bliss so here let's say we'll start out with an idea here uh, for an example let's work with a cube here let's say we had to draw a cube so here I'm going to draw this cube over here just like this like this 3 cube here so the here we could now ask a question here if we had to analyze this why is it how is it possible that we can draw the cube so fluently without making mistakes meaning that we didn't have to draw the cube like this right we didn't have to put in these like these gesture lines here to create the cube and then come on top of it and make these darker lines like this right so we didn't have to build the drawing at all in this manner here like a process of drawing we were we were just able to do it so here we could say well the reason is that it's probably because it's 
uh, has to do that it's a simple idea. And on top of that, it's because we are so confident that we know what the cube is that we are we can just come up, see it in 3D space on paper that we we can just draw the outline and it will become a cube. Okay, so this is almost as if understanding that what if we knew the figure in this way, right? What if we knew the figure in this high state of thinking? We knew it so good that we could just draw the figure just like that. Uh, come up with any pose that we want in without using any gesture drawing systems and draw it. So uh, that's what this idea of making that cube makes. So now what we need to do is, okay, well, we get that part. What we need to do is now develop this idea a little further and begin to understand so we can draw the figure well, from Bliss is to could we now take this in a, another step here or kick, a, kick it up a notch here. So here we could say okay well let's do something to this cube let's just create it into some kind of an odd object and we don't know what it's going to be here. So let's start out by let's say we'll put a, a, a line over here then we'll probably take this line over here and take it this direction and then take this line over here and make this like this 3D attachment on it so meaning that if we shaded it it would be like this on this cube here and maybe over here we can probably like create like a half of a sphere over here like this connected to the cube and maybe we can draw like a some kind of a pipe over here that goes that's wrapping around this cube in that direction right so here we can even add some uh, two lines over here we can darken them up just like so so now if we analyze this right we could say here what we didn't struggle at all in creating this 3d shape here Right, and the reason for this again has to do is because we're inventing on the fly. We have absolutely no idea what is what it was that we were creating. We just saw from our creativity that we wanted to put this shape here, put this shape here, and this shape here, and it just became. Right, we did not struggle. This is very important to understand here, what I'm showing you here. Right, we can create anything that we want when we are in this state of thinking of invention right we don't know what it is so what this means is okay well since we've proven that yes uh, not only can we draw these shapes in in deep space we can also create anything that we want completely from bliss right because we were drawing this from bliss without struggling right we saw the shape and we drew it so now the question is okay well can we now do the same thing when we're drawing the human figure. So here we could say, well, we can, right? We should be able to. Meaning that, let's say I start out with a uh, an oval shape over here. I'm going to do this kind of dark over here so it comes on camera. Let's say we have this oval shape and it's going to have a wedge over here like this. I want to have a wedge then it's going to have this wedge over here like so it's going to come down like this and it's kind of like this shape over here and it's going to have a another kind of like a piece over here it's going to have something like this over here right so here you can see in the in the simplest idea that we can draw the human figure by not approaching the idea as a human figure but creating it as an alien idea meaning that we have no idea what it is that we are creating but what we're doing is thinking out loud in that I drew a ball I drew a shape right we're saying it out loud now you don't have to say this out loud you're just I'm, I'm explaining to you what this way of thinking right we're just thinking this out loud so if we had to draw a complete figure here taking this we could just say okay well what we need is a cylinder shape over here then we need like this uh, casing over here that goes like this and it's going to wrap around from the other side over here also and it's going to go in uh, this direction over here then from underneath it it's going to have a cylindrical shape going like this 
and then it also has this shape over here that goes like so and then we can add these two cylinders that are this going down like so let's say in perspective then we have like this ball shape over here and we have a, another shape a cylindrical shape that's kind of like odd shape that goes in this uh, direction then we have this uh, wedge over here that looks like this and then we can do the same thing we'll have we also have a another cylindrical shape over here it's also going down in that direction in this way and it has like this ball shape over here and has this odd shape going in that direction and then we'll draw like this wedge shape over here in this way so here we have one ball over here then we have this shape going down in this direction uh, it's kind of going down in perspective this is like a 3D design over here and then it's gonna have it, it ends up like this over here and on the other side it's gonna have that same ball joint over there and this joint is actually just gonna go in this direction over here and maybe it's coming in this direction over here and like this right so here we were proving that it's possible to draw the figure in this very high state of thinking and we can just draw it just like this by right so the way when we drew this you notice that I was saying that I'm drawing this shape here and this shape here I wasn't thinking about that I'm drawing the human figure but I was drawing this shape because you uh, when you went through that course because you know all the proportions and all the ratios as to how the figure looks right your mind is smart enough to figure everything out all you ha have to do is keep your mind clear as to what it is that you're drawing when you're putting this figure down right this is just to prove a point it doesn't mean that this is how you're gonna draw what it's what it's what we're doing is we're comforting the brain to understand that when we are drawing right we're not we don't have to struggle at all because what we're drawing doing is creating these ideas in 3d space and it's an invention meaning that when we drew this guy right we were we had no idea what it was that we were creating we were just creating these shapes and it will become what it is right your our minds are very sophisticated enough to figure this out and this is what artistic thinking allows us to do it's creating a structured way of thinking going about it to solve a problem right the problem we're solving is that we want to just draw what we want to draw right and here it we have to bring the human figure in so we can say that yes of course it's possible so what this means obviously is that if we can do this we can draw the figure in any dynamic pose that we want so let's say we have this uh, we'll like do like this line over here use a little bit of that uh, gesture drawing uh, system here if you wanted to and let's say uh, maybe his leg goes over here uh, like this or something and then his head is over here so now let's say if we wanted to put this figure together in that dynamic pose we don't have to think about any of the angles any of these how does the figure look in this very complicated pose here we can just draw out these shapes here right we it's all about building the mannequin right if you can build a mannequin in any pose you all you have to do is snap on the muscle because you know the uh, obviously know how the ratios work here so here we'll draw out uh, this shape over here then we can draw out uh, this shape over here and then we have this shape like this going in this direction like so and here we can draw out this shape over here like this direction and with this shape it's going in this direction in this way then 
it has that wedge shape going in that direction over there so let's say let's actually change this idea over here let's say this this is actually extruded more out in this direction right you can do whatever you want you can change things around whenever you feel like it so this shape goes in that direction and this shape here is going to go into uh, that direction here in this way so we're using a little bit of that perspective in there so let's say we have this ball shape over here and this thing actually is going to go in this direction over here and this thing is going to come in come in this direction over here like this and then this ball will have a ball over here right when you're drawing this keep in mind the ratios as to uh, you know, compare everything what it is that you're drawing just don't concentrate on one area here okay and then we have this in place over here then over here we're going to put on this shape over here like so that we had created before just like this okay so this is in its most simplest form the ability to understanding how to draw dynamic or how you can draw dynamic poses right so what this means is once you have this in place all you have to do is really just erase right once you have the mannequin in place and you know all the muscles you really just have to put in the uh, uh, the muscles in place here 